Rwanda's Bourbon Coffee opened its first international coffee bar in Washington, D.C. in 2010. So the coffee that you see in Washington is coming straight from the farmer to the cup. Trade logistics is the secret to opening markets, which will help such companies thrive and grow and connect to the customer quickly, cheaply, and with high-quality products. It's shipped from Rwanda and then served in there. That's why Bowen Coffee still stands and says, naturally crop to cup. The global trade logistics product of the World Bank Group's investment climate team began assisting countries in 2007 with simple, efficient, and accountable trade logistics practices that have a dramatic impact on economic development. Commodities on the market are expensive because clearance is expensive. The passover effect of cost from the importer to the consumer is an important issue. You have to be able to make business easier to be able to attract uh, foreign investment. The global trade logistics product has helped implement several trade facilitation reforms, all designed to achieve tangible results. This film captures the changes in Colombia, Liberia, and Rwanda. In the past, you we have up to more than 40 steps that a custom broker or a, an importer had to take before you clear your goods. And it was chaos, actually. We had to bribe everyone. The drivers, the port officials, we had to give out money. Inspections are important to ensure compliance and security, but in many countries, excessive physical and uncoordinated inspections slow down trade. When you would open the border in the morning, you would find that you had so many people waiting, and you would find that everything is on standstill. Everything was manual. There was not a single computer in this entire collectorate. Sometimes you have a single declaration that will carry more than 80 lines of line items, tariff items, and you have to calculate them one by one, and you tell me how long that's going to take you. All countries face their own unique challenges, but they all share a common goal, trade competitiveness. The global trade logistics product helps countries improve access to world markets and target solutions to specific challenges, partnering with the public and private sectors. We look at the processes and we told ourselves what can we change? We can change the administrative processes, become more efficient and more effective, and also we must fully automate. Trade modernization facilitates a drastic streamlining of procedures. We started to have this idea of the single window, whereby all stakeholders should just be in one place, and it came down from for something now we can boast of about having not more than 10 processes in the entire processing situation. In the manual environment at the Freeport, we had the average collection of five to six million dollars per month at the Freeport. Currently, since the automation, we can now boast of an average of nine million dollars, and that's a tremendous change. Much needed reforms included implementation of pre-clearance, risk management, and special regimes for faster clearance, increased working hours at borders, and simplified payment systems. The effects of these reforms in Rwanda, for instance, have helped reduce time to import from 69 days to 31 days in four years. By now to scan one vehicle here or one truck, it only takes 15 minutes. With the scanner, you can't escape. Nowadays, a trucker only spends here like 30 minutes before it could even spend a day or two days. A comprehensive suite of trade logistics reforms in Colombia has reduced trading time by 30%. Automation systems such as VUSE allows traders to complete their documentation online, reducing time and costs. For the past 25 years, the process of unloading and inspecting, say, 100,000 bags of coffee would take a month. Now it can only take one day. And while significant reforms have contributed to business growth and trade, these countries are already laying the groundwork for future improvements. For people who had been here before and they see today, they see the improvement. But clearly, there is much more to be done. For the system now, how it is it's saving us a whole lot in making us uh, help other people. I can go quickly and come and I think we can make it. We are trying, we are taking care of the children, we are going to school, we are building the villages, and I'm happy. From what I see, from what we've achieved, there's a lot more that will be achieved. Maybe in the next 10 years, everywhere you go, you'll be drinking run and coffee.